What's up guys? Um, today, I'm in my 1993 Toyota pickup, two-wheel drive. Um, my switch is bad. I know my switch is bad because um, whenever I turn the key off, it doesn't shut off anymore, but I can still turn it on and sound like that. So that's how I know it's a switch. But any other video on YouTube, if you go trying to put in, um, change the ignition switch, everybody's showing you how to change the, um, the cylinder. So I already know how to take off the cylinder, and I'm going to attempt to make a video for you guys on how to change the switch itself. So. Alrighty, so we're gonna start off by taking this off and then unscrewing the screws that are right there, right here, and then right there. And then once I get this off, we will proceed. All right, so we got the cover off, got the dashboard, and then this, this will pop right out. These are two clips, so you could Pretty much just pull this out and this will come out one time. You don't even have to really to get it or anything. So this is what we got here now. Um, I believe this is normal. I think this is just so you can hot wire it or something. Maybe one of you in the comments could tell me so I can know for sure. But um, yeah, that looks like it was done by factory. I don't think the people that had it before me did that. Under here, this is the switch back here. And I cannot find a video on how to get it out. But all I do know is if it's like, um, the Camry video I watched, it's supposed to have a screw behind it because these are practically made the same. But, um, from what I'm feeling, it only has this connected to it. So it doesn't have the extra wires that, like, um, that I've seen in this other video. I'm going to start off with taking this out. We're going to put the key in. I already have the, have the battery disconnected. You should disconnect it too, just in case you accidentally go start in it. I don't know what your problem is, but... Just disconnect the battery. We're going to put this on AC. And there's a button under here. And the tool that I'm going to try to use, I haven't even seen if I fit yet. All of you guys should have one of these. If you could get a thin enough one of these, should, in theory, be able to press this button up. Well, this one does, so you guys just grab one of these thin ones. I know everybody has these, so... All right, so I'm gonna start off by putting the key in, putting it on AC, and then press the button, and then this is supposed to pull right out. All right, guys, I just realized, right? So after you push this in, you're not gonna be able to um, really pull that out by your hand. So you're gonna wanna get, if you have a small screwdriver, or if you have one of these, that switches the bits. Most people have this set, like with the smallest one. And with this, it fits in perfectly. So while you press that in, you just pull it out and then, then it'll pop out like this. There it is. I think I might have to change this sucker too. She's definitely had better days. But yeah, see that's the button right there. You press it. And there's a groove right there, and then you just do that and it'll come out. Okay, so step one is done. Now the switch is back here. You see the white that this connects to? If you go touching it right, put your hand all the way behind it, all the way behind it, to where you feel the wires going in, right? If you put your hand all the way to the top, all the way to the top of it, you'll feel a little Phillips screw. That's what's holding it down. Okay, so to be able to get into that, if you had like a stubby screwdriver or something, you might be able to get it easier. But see here, we don't we're, we don't have every mechanics tool, so this is what I got. One of these cheap, you know, average size screwdrivers. Most likely, we're gonna have to take off that little air duct to be able to stick the screwdriver back there. This right here, this air duct. Not really necessarily the one on the bottom, but the one on the top, like to pull it down. These, they, um, actually I believe this has a screw too. I'll check. Um, the one at the top. But maybe we might be able to get it in. I'll try first and I'll, I'll let you guys know. Alrighty guys, so I got it loose. What I found out, right, is you're only going to need to take off this one, the bottom one. And this is the easiest one to take off because it doesn't have screws. So while it's up there, right, pull it out from this side first and then pull it down. You don't want to really do it the other way. It's, it's way easier to just pull this side out, pull that down, and then it'll come out. 
and then your screwdriver is going to fit nice and snugly back there. It's pretty easy taking this screw out. So I done took the screw out, I put it in my handy dandy ashtray, just put it right there. You do not want to lose that screw. And it looks like this is just going to slide. Something's going on over here. I think is it an next screw? Hold on guys. Feels like okay, there's a next wire that's connecting to something. Let me figure it out and then I'll show you guys what's happening. Alrighty guys. Um that wire goes from back there up on top here and it connects to this. Which is a good thing because from the part that I look for when I when you search up ignition switch, like on advanced auto parts or something, it'll show a piece like this too, and I'm just now realizing that. So the wire's gonna goes up to here, so we're gonna have to unscrew it from the top, meaning some fun stuff up here as they come off. <laughs> so um looks like um we're gonna be pulling this sucker right here off. And this whole thing right here, you see the groove right here, all the way around? This whole thing pops out. So, see if I can do it with one hand, with our flat screwdriver, our well sized one. We're gonna boom, pop it out. Whole shit pops out. Sorry for cussing YouTube. Um. Anyways, it's not kids watching this anyway, so I'm giving it. So this whole thing pops out. That's why we love having old cars. Um. So wire back here that connects to this. I'm gonna want to pop that out. The emergency. I'm gonna want to pop that out to get this all the way off. And then now, I'm trying to see. And um, we might have to take out this too but um yeah i'll get back to you guys okay guys so with that now off we have the dashboard i already unscrewed it it's phillips right there boom boom easy peasy lemon squeezy so i took it off and if you realize right there's a plastic there cover in it and that kind of scared me at first right but look at what i'm thinking there's two screws that's holding the plastic right there and right there tens so in theory we should be able to unscrew these two and lift up said plastic maybe i don't know we're gonna see so as of right now we got the dashboard off i don't really want to unplug it for some reason but yeah all right so we're gonna just leave that right there and um i'm gonna unscrew this see if it um you know makes that possible to unscrew because i don't know why they did that my first thought was to be to just cut a thing cut a little groove right cut a little hole right there with a, a blade or something so i could just you know never have to go through this again um but i want to try to be as professional as possible for you guys so if you just skip if, if you just do what i did what i thought and just stink and just cut a hole right there if you don't it's going to get covered anyway just think and cut that shit with the with the knife and just be able to screw it but i'm going to take the extra step for you guys that don't want to hurt your little babies um let's see if this fixes the problem Alrighty, guys so unscrewing it definitely is not going to make it come up like this is a whole pot like this connected to it that like honestly um if you don't like what i'm about to do go look for another video because um, there isn't going to be another one. So what we're going to do, class, is we're going to take a box blade. And starting from about like right here, we're going to cut shallowly. Just to the point that we could get a screw just right on top. We're going to unscrew it. And then it'll just come out. So if you want to take the super long process to not cut something that's hidden, you do that. But we, class, we're doing it the quick and easy way and not only will it be easy but if we ever if the next person that buys it ever has to switch it again it'll already be there for them so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna cut it 
Alright guys, well I forgot Toyota doesn't make stuff out of cheap plastic, so... Um, a variety of uh, knives and box cutter blades and stuff um, is definitely not a foe for it. So, what we're gonna do, class, is we're gonna take um, this and we're gonna do this. Okay? So, you're gonna put it on both sides and you make sure you don't stink and shove it down so you're not, you know, hitting anything. But just on opposite sides of this. Um, and then probably a small, like a one in the middle. And then again, like right back here. So then we could just take, um, take the knife and then just bring it to those holes and it should be easier cutting it that way. But, um, you know, maybe I'm being stupid. You know, I am a novice mechanic. I know how to work on cars, but honestly, I do not see any other better way of doing it than this. Cause yeah, it is going to be a lot of work. Alrighty guys, so I have my holes drilled. Um, from the uh, from the other clip, um, I started off with this bit, but I then realized, you know, um, probably want to start with a small one, just a whole bunch of small ones, because a few big ones would probably damage a lot more stuff, and um, it would not be as easy to drill as a small one like this. To start with, that real nice small size. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of them drilled right next to each other. Remember, take it slow so you're not digging through it. And I already started cutting it, and it's way easier. You just take a stinking knife, man, and you just go like that, and it just starts breaking. Look at that. It just starts breaking. So, just start doing that, gliding across them, and it'll just start opening up. Just move to each hole, pry it. It'll break the one after it and before it a little bit and just continue down the line try to put them in like a row as close together as possible and you'll end up getting somewhere i know it's a little um not the cleanest technique but hey we drive 30 year old trucks and we're working on them so we're not exactly the most um you know clean set of people so all right i'm gonna finish this up and then we're gonna see where we're at Alrighty, guys with some more drilling i had to come to the side a little bit to be able to um like it came in front of it like you see like the bit would kind of go in front of it this kind of the same thing so i'm able to reach my screwdriver right now and i could unscrew it see i'm unscrewing it now i could unscrew both sides and now we'll be able to get this out Alright guys, so we're all loose now, alright? We got the screws out. Make sure you take them out completely. Don't wait to go pull on this out to take them out. Just take them out one by one so you keep track of them. Put them in the ashtray. I'm telling you, it's practically the best spot you can put it. We're going to push this button up and pull it out. Okay. See, it comes out like that. Alright, and it won't come out like that for you unless you cut the zip tie. That's right here. That's right on the, you'll see it it's a zip tie right on it if you look at the the um the switch itself you'll, you you would have seen it by now so cut off that and as you see the moment i pulled that out it came straight out so this is our switch okay see mine is definitely messed up a bit okay it has the groove right there. It's a 9322RE Toyota pickup Hilux. It's called in other places. Not a Tacoma, not a T100. Okay. So 1993 Toyota pickup 22RE two wheel drive. Okay. This is what it looks like. It's what the groove looks like. It's what the back looks like. Okay. The switch. I'm just showing you guys so whenever you're getting your part, you can see exactly how it looks. Okay? Let me show you the inside. Okay? That's how it looks. This piece is how it looks. Remember, it has the button. Okay? It has the button. That's how it looks. Okay? And then that's how that's how you take it out. And, um, I haven't got my part yet, so can't exactly show you how to put it back in, but... Thank God we cut that, because whenever we put it back in, 
um, all this stuff could just stay the way it is right now. And then once it's time to go back in, it'll literally just be the opposite of what you did to put it in, all right? So that's how you remove the switch.